Hi everyone, today we're going to make Adora's undershirt from the new She-Ra. I provided the pattern I used below for free download if you'd like to follow along. For materials I used one and a half yards of performance apparel spandex in white, half yard of gray spandex, and one sheet of red heat transfer vinyl made for stretchy fabrics. You can also use fabric paint instead. Following my pattern, I cut out all of my pieces and laid them out. I then unfolded the front and back panels and pinned the gray sections into place using a 5 8 seam allowance sew along the red lines. Afterwards, your front and back panels should look like this. Next, we are going to iron on our heat transfer vinyl. The pattern I've included has suggested areas of placement on the back and the sleeve panels. Once those have been ironed, place the front and back panels right sides facing. Sew along the shoulders and the sides. Now take the collar and sew along one of the long sides. For this part, I use the zigzag stitch since the collar will have to stretch over my head. Once done, you are going to open the collar and fold it over with the right sides facing. Pin it, making sure that the seam meets up in the center, and still using a zigzag stitch. Make sure you trim off the excess fabric or serge it. Then flip the tube you've made and fold it over. You have your collar done. Now it's time to attach it to the shirt. Line the collar seam up with the center back. Evenly distribute the rest of it by placing pins along the shoulder seams and the center front. The collar should be slightly smaller than the shirt's opening. When sewing the collar into place, you can stretch it ever so slightly, but do not stretch the shirt's neckline. Once done, flip the seam downward and you have your collar. Take the time to cut off the excess seam allowance. This is the perfect time to hem the bottom of the shirt. I cheated a little by serging the bottom since I was just going to tuck it in anyways. The last part is the sleeves. I went ahead and hemmed the sleeve cuffs prior to sewing the sleeve since they are more pointed than round. Folding the sleeves with right sides together, I stitched along the bottom of both sleeves. Now I have turned the shirt inside out and the sleeves are turned right side out. I then placed the sleeves inside the shirt like the right side of the image shows. Lining up the bottom seams of the shirt and sleeve, I pinned each sleeve in. 
Carefully, I stitched the sleeves into place, making sure to take my time to avoid any puckering. As always, I trimmed away the extra fabric. And now, you're done! If you like this tutorial and want to see more, please consider checking out my Etsy store for cosplay accessories, or you can buy me a coffee. By supporting me, you're allowing me to provide more tutorials and more free patterns. Thanks for watching.